Good evening, fellow Americans. I had hoped when I became president I would not have to do this again. Another massacre. Uvalde, Texas. An elementary school. Beautiful, innocent, second, third, fourth graders. <clears throat> and how many scores of little children who witnessed what happened see their friends die as if they're on a battlefield, for God's sake? <clears throat> They'll live with it the rest of their lives. There's a lot we don't know yet, but there's a lot we do know. The parents who will never see their child again, never have them jump in bed and cuddle with them. <clears throat> parents will never be the same. To lose a child is like having a piece of your soul ripped away. There's a hollowness in your chest. You feel like you're being sucked into it and never going to be able to get out, suffocating. And it's never quite the same. <clears throat> it's a feeling shared by the siblings and the grandparents and the family members and the community that's left behind. Scripture says, Jill and I have talked about this in different contexts, in other contexts. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. So many crushed spirits. So tonight, I ask the nation to pray for them, to give the parents and siblings the strength in the darkness they feel right now. Our prayer tonight is for those parents lying in bed and trying to figure out, will I be able to sleep again? What do I say to my other children? What happens tomorrow? May God bless the loss of innocent life on this sad day. And may the Lord be near the brokenhearted and save those crushed in spirit, because they're going to need a lot of help and a lot of our prayers. God love you. Will you go to Texas, sir? Sir, will you go to Texas?